In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front brakes on this Chevy Silverado 2500. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel. This is an aftermarket wheel, so it has different lug nuts than normal. You would use a 22 millimeter socket to take those off. So we're going to do that now. Now remove the wheel. On the back side, you can see where there's two little caps for the bolts for the caliper. I'm just going to use a pick. They're just rubber. You want to take those caps off. Just get in behind them. They peel off. Save those for later. Take those off. Using a 10 millimeter hex socket, we're gonna take these caliper bolts out. Line those up. And pull those out. And pull that out. Just grab the caliper, wiggle it back and forth a little bit. If you need to, you can use a pry bar. Slide that off. Using a caliper hanger, just hang it from the upper control arm. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. Take the brake pads off. Using a 21 millimeter socket, take these two bolts off for the bracket. They're gonna be on there pretty tight. and grab the bracket and slide it off. At this point, you can grab the rotor, try to pull it off. If it doesn't come off, you can take a hammer and just hit in these locations. Just be careful you don't tap the studs. If that still doesn't work, you can take a threaded bolt and there's two holes right here. You have to get the correct threads. Get those started. As you tighten it, it's gonna pull the rotor off like that. Grab the rotor and slide it off. Now the hub is cleaned up. I'm going to put a thin coat of anti-seize just on the surface just to prevent further corrosion. Just a thin coat. Take the rotor. We're going to put it on backwards first. Going to take some brake parts cleaner just on the back side of the rotor and wipe it down. Take it off, spin it around, slide it in position, and brake parts cleaner. Wash it off and wipe it with a rag. To make it a little easier to install, I'm just going to push that on and then just take a lug nut and just put it all the way on one of the studs. That'll just hold the rotor flat. We're going to clean up the brake caliper bracket. You want to take off these clips. Just use a straight blade screwdriver or pocket screwdriver. Pop these off. Taking a wire brush, just clean up the rust.
Take some brake caliper grease or some silicone paste and just coat the bracket. This is just gonna prevent future corrosion. Just a thin coat. Take some new pad clips. Slide those in position. Just like the old ones were. Now you can reinstall that on the vehicle. We're also gonna clean up the caliper pins. Just wipe these down with a rag. If they're really bad, you can use some brake parts cleaner. And some silicone lubricant or paste. Coat those nice and thin. Do the same on the other one. Take the bracket, slide it over the rotor and take the two bolts. You can put some thread lock adhesive on the bolts. Get those started. And we're gonna to torque these bolts to 221 foot-pounds. Take the brake pads. The one with the warning indicator is gonna go on the outside at the bottom. And the other one on the inside. Using a brake caliper compressing tool, line that up. If you need to, you can use an old brake pad as well. slowly compress the caliper. This is gonna push the fluid through the lines and hoses back up into the master cylinder reservoir. Just go nice and slow. And it's all the way down. Remove the tool. Take the hanger off the caliper. And slide it over the brake pads. Take the brake caliper pins, get those started. Torque those to 77 foot pounds. Take these caps, line those up, and push those in. At this point, you can take the lug nut off. Put the wheel back on. Put the lug nuts in. And snug them up. Now I'm gonna to torque the lug nuts to 140 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly.
and just go around again, double check. Now pump the brake pedal nice and slow. And check the fluid level and adjust accordingly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.